everybody, this is YBR with Demon JE Drive. So today we're going to go to a map I did a video for before, but we're going back to it because there's a new version of the map. So I'm going to assume that you did not see the other version of the, or other video for this map where it was the old version. So I will not be making that many comparisons to the old version. And I'm going to look at everything in the map, even if it's exactly the same as the old version. So this is Ultimate Test Terrain. And the old version we had was version 2 or 3, I think, but this is version 4. And I could prove that because right there it says version 4. So the, just right here in this center area is one of the biggest changes. All of this was like totally redone and made different. So, anyways, here though, there's a bunch of things that are mostly suspension oriented kind of tests. Like over here you got those blocks, and right here there's a, this is one of the ones I like that's new, is this is a dirt area that you could drive through. And one of the neat things about this is actually, it shows just the difference between the stock truck suspension. Do you see that? It's already getting stuck. But you could really see the difference between the stock truck suspension and the off-road edition. And like its abilities to go through the mud and such. It's not just the suspension. It's like also the tires and the... the um, I think the engine might even be better in the off-road edition. But still, here's the stock one which struggles through the dirt. Just, and I'm not going to use manual to skew the results we're just gonna use automatic the whole way and then automatic will just not get you up that hill but when you pull out the off-road edition which is what we'll be using for most of the suspension testing kind of stuff with its better performance it should be able to get through that no problem hopefully if everything goes according to plan it will if things don't go according to plan it won't let's see if it goes according to plan or not so again, automatic transmission, just holding the accelerator, not trying to skew the results in any way. Look at that, going right up that hill. I don't think, I don't know if I'll be able to get up the next hill though, especially considering how steep it is, but let's see if it will. Just automatic transmission. Nope, automatic can't make it. You probably could do it if you wanted to switch to manual, but I am not going to bother. Let's see if we could get out of here or not. Probably going to have to get a good launch at this, and if not, we could just go in reverse, it looks like. Oh, come on, come on, you can do it. All right, let me just shift in the man. Oh, I didn't need to shift. There we go, we made it. Okay. So anyways, that's one of the tests right there. Like I said, it gets steeper, but I don't feel like using manual to climb it, so we're just not gonna. Anyways, over here, you got some uh, of these blocks which you can drive over that test the suspension's abilities. Real specific to the suspension. Here's the easier side. No problem for this truck. The other side, on the other hand, will probably even give an off-road vehicle like this some trouble, I'm thinking. So let's see. Yeah, it's getting it's getting through it, but not very pretty. Oop, see? Yep, yeah, but just, oh. Oh, we're stuck. Back it up. So yeah, that is not looking pretty. So we're going to try to actually just get out of here because uh, not doing so hot. Over here we got some jumps. Let's go and do one of those. Do the one on the left first. I don't know why there's two of them. But there are two of them. Look at that. Airtime and crash. Stupid camera. What are you doing? Alright, that's beat up. Let's get a fresh truck. Look at that. Nice and new. And there's another jump over there, but I'm not going to bother with the one next to it. So how about these stairs? I don't know if automatic transmission will be able to do the stairs. I know you could do it with manual. Let's see about automatic. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, automatic. No. All right, let's go to manual. There you go. Look at the manual transmission go. What were you doing, automatic? You suck. Manual just destroys you. So you can go up the smaller stairs, no problem. And we could go down the bigger stairs, no problem, probably. Now what about going up the bigger stairs? That's a question. I do have a flat front tire, but I won't let that stop me. I don't think it'll do it, actually, anyway, so... Okay, I think that front flat tire is making it ten times harder than it should be. So let's not have a front tire that's flat. Let's have a nice rounded one crazy how technology works. Round is better than flat for tires. That is the number one thing about tire technology. Looks like you're not going to be able to make it up this thing in the stock truck with even with the 4x4 package, so... Oh, well, wait, wait. 
You got to do it at an angle. There you go. If you do it at an angle, you could do it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Almost there. Go, go, go. This would look absurd if you see a car actually doing this in real life. Come on, one more. Come in, 99% of the way. Come on, there we go. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, man. Oh, well. Alright, well, mostly made it. I like the way it went down. It was nice and smooth until we got another flat tire. Look at that thunk, thunk, thunk. And it's literally flat. It just has one spot where it's flat, which is kind of funny. Alright, back to automatic transmission. So over here we got another set of jumps. We're jumping on them. Smush. Smush. There's also that under area under the jump, which you could look at real quick. Well, I guess it's under the tube, not the under the jump, but. There we are. And it just pops you out right into this hole. Well, not a big hole, but it is a hole. Sounds like we got a damaged tire, but let's not let that stop us. Then we got this over here, just like just a bunch of like random things. Like then we got this thing which you can climb, all kinds of stuff over here. You got a tube you could drive through, right? Which you're driving right over. Go through that tube with the damaged truck. You could drive through this. It has a cool light to it. Look at that, rainbow lights. We're at Rainbow Road now. I haven't picked up Mario Kart 8 yet. You know that people saying is good. I've been thinking about it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played this. I don't know. That's basically uh, the conclusion. Anyways, you got some more jumps over here. I don't think we'll be going fast enough for this one. So who cares though? We're gonna try it anyways. No way. Right into the water. But there's a landing. If you were going faster over there, you could land it on. See right there. Barely see it. There we go. But we weren't going very fast. So that's no good. Anyways, you got some more things just for like suspension tests. Right here you got these which get closer and closer as time goes on. And then, whoa, slow down truck. And over here we got some other stuff as well. You got these things, which are just another way to test the suspensions out. And whoops, I got stuck because I flew at it. That was a dumb move. Just figured it'd be faster, not, oh, I'm stuck. So yeah, oh well. You got those, you got these, which are just steeper and steeper each time you go up and down. So it's like this one, nice and easy. Look at that, even a even a sports car could do that without bottoming out. Truck struggles for the next one right here, but it should be able to do it. Come on! Automatic transmission, what are you failing me for? Try to do it like that, there we go. And this one, on the other hand, I don't think it'll be able to easily do, if at all. Yeah, so, wait, there we go, just barely, all right, then we got the half pipes over here, so you could go into one of these and do half pipe things, try to do a 180 at the top if you had enough speed, we don't, so just flip it over instead, <laughs> that's not good, all right, anyways, going over to here, got some more stuff we got these jumps right here you could jump jump no not jump all right well that's pretty much everything in this center area though I think there's a couple more actually things I didn't cover but they're not too important like there's a another couple of things that are like suspension testing like right here but Aside from that, we can. Just, I mean, it's not like it takes long to do it. Just whoops, and we're mostly. Yeah, we got a flat tire. 
He flattening these tires like it's a literal flat. That's the funny part though. It's just it is flat. So yeah, this is kind of like the suspension area more so than anything else. So let's go ahead and move on to the place with some jumps and well, I was using this for the suspension area because it's got a pretty durable and strong suspension setup. Now that we're going to the jumps, we could use something more fun. So we'll switch over to the Bolide, I would say. That's a good, fun vehicle. And we'll use this for the jumps because it gets a lot of speed and it'll fly far and it'll be beautiful. So for the jumps, you go up here and whoop, a little too fast. It's all right. Put a reset point up here, actually, so we don't have to come back and if you look over here there's a jump and you can fly through the rings see if we can make it through the rings or not I don't think we will on the first try but well let's see uh, hey look at that perfect through the rings just barely dodging a tree the car doesn't look as bad as I thought it would I mean it's damaged but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would lights even still pop up I love pop-up lights. It's pretty. Anyways, there's also over here is another ramp where you can go through three rings, which is a little bit harder, but we'll try it anyways. Whoa, camera. One, two, three, just barely. Oh, and smashing face first into the ground, though. Okay, then you got over here, you got a really tight area right here that you can use to get up to the top. So real tight as in the turns are tight. See right here, you just gotta take turns like that. I thought I would clear that, and I hit the wall. And we'll just go all the way up. I was hoping I could bounce off the wall. Did not work. So yeah, I guess the real only way to do this is to make a three-point churn each time. Or to try to like drift through it maybe, like you go. I guess it's not even drifting because you're going so slow. It's more of pour the par pull the parking brake and slide and hope for the best more so. Whoa. Yeah, see that's what happens when you try to slide it. You almost fall off the edge. So let's not do that. Oh god, this camera angle's killing me. I'm gonna just go into interior view real quick. Look at those pop-up lights. Oh look at that. Didn't need to do a three-point turn, you just need to slow down. Ah. Anyways, start on the bottom, now we here. No we not, we stuck. Come on! Ugh. We'll just move the car a little bit. Boom! There we go. And now we got a, ramp, a nice big ramp right here. The biggest one so far. And away we go. Right into the wall. I didn't mean to hit that ramp partially, but that's okay. Got right into the wall. And there's a bunch of other things you can hit too. That do more specific kind of like collisions. If you can line it up. Again, camera kind of freaks out. But boom, right there. Look at that. That's an interesting looking thing. We should try hitting that thing right next to where I was. I was so close. But then I missed. And I think this will be lined up with it. If not, I'll realign it. Oh, the car's so low, it didn't do too much. I mean, it did damage it up a bit, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, it does look funky, though. Look at that glass stretched out, dude. That's that's a bit abnormal. You know, we haven't done any slow-mo yet, so we should do some slow-mo on this next thing. I don't need ultra slow-mo, actually, just regular slow-mo. Alright. That was just regular slow-mo, but maybe ultra would have been okay. Who knows? Moving on, though, there's other things to look at than just there. Because you could do a 180, and there's new stuff.
So here's a... Uh, not what I was looking at, but I was trying to just let it fall. Unfortunately, we're stuck. Oh, there it goes. Hey, look at that. That's a skill, man. I don't even know how I manage that. I was trying to just drive it off the ledge nice and gently. Oh, well. Not everything goes according to plan, it turns out. Anyways, next up. Make it over the jump. Success. Now land it smooth. That is the opposite of smooth. It's very, very not smooth. Alright. Going to do one more reset. I think that's everything. So we'll move on. Make a quick check. Yeah, that's everything. It's always fun to throw cars off cliffs. Oh no, falling. Oh no, we're in a hole. I don't think... Oh, that's okay. Alright, that's fine. So that's most of the area. There's a couple of certain... Oh, goodness. That is not flush with the dirt. And this car is low to the ground, so that did not go well. Um, let me make sure, though, real quick. You can get a good view of this area. There you go. So you can see, I didn't quite do everything. But I did one of each type of thing. So, get a good idea of uh, what's here. And I guess the next place we could go to is, um, uh, well, look at these things over here, huh? So let's just bring the car over to here. This is by that crazy Rainbow Road tunnel, which is right next to the start area over there, actually. And over here, we just got a bunch of, like, jumps and stuff you could drive around on. So right here, you got one that goes up. Then you fall down. Which breaks this car because it's a fragile car. Got a more suspension testing style stuff over here. And again, this car is not exactly the ideal car for this. That's why I used a truck before. So yeah, it's there, but we can't do it in this vehicle. It's got a loop-de-loop, -loop, which we could do probably in this vehicle. I don't see why not. Just got to get some speed first. Okay, here we go. Loop de loop, try number one. Close enough. Needed just a little bit more speed, but we made it mostly. Okay, we'll go from one to the other. Should be more than enough speed coming in from this far away. Oh no, oh no, lost grip, lost grip. Abandon, 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 abort. Abort mission. I don't know what that thing is actually over there. I can't remember. Was it something you can actually... Is it just a wall? I guess it was just a wall. What are you doing there, wall? There's also a hole you could throw the car down, which is kind of cool. It gives you a big old ball of metal in the end. That was totally intentional. What are you talking about? So here's the hole... And we could just drop it in. Again, the camera does not work out too good here. It kind of freaks out. You see, it's freaking out. I'm not touching it because I'm just letting you see it freaking out. It's like, I don't know which way to go. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. And then we got a little bit. Oh, it looks like a car. It looks like a mini, like, matchbox or Hot Wheels or some kind of, like, caricature of the car it used to be. All right, so that's that area. Go ahead and drive away. Gonna break the everything. Yep. Let's get something that's a little more durable. Something. Uh, let's see. What's a little bit more durable? How about? I guess that could work. We'll use the. Uh, a Bisu Rally Edition. Fancy, isn't it? So, across the whole map, there are these dirt rows, though. It actually ends right here, so it's probably the wrong way to go. But there are these dirt roads, which kind of work as a rally kind of area. And this is actually one of the parts that's just here for the rally area over here. So we'll drive around on this. And this is the Rally Edition, so this shouldn't be a problem, right? It makes sense to me. 
Plus the automatic transmission can't decide what gear it wants. It really can't. It's like upshift, downshift, upshift, downshift. But yeah, you got this area. It's like a rally track. Just tore off a bumper. Oh well, who needs it? Oh no, the water is too steep for the little abishu. I think it is, unless I'm right in the middle. Is it, will it work if I'm right in the middle of the road? Oh, it could barely make it just like that. I just gotta not fall off the edge. Oh, that's slow moving too. There we go, made it. Continuing through this rallying area. Churn, churn, churn. I don't know why it wasn't churning. Something may be damaged. Something is damaged. I can't churn quite right. I, I guess I guess I could also say I can't quite churn right. <laughs> Stupid pun, I know, but it's the truth. Left churning seems fine. It's the right churning that seems to be the problem. Whoa! Oh, goodness. Now I can turn right quite. No, that's just stupid. Now we're getting stupider. Alright, let's see if we can get through this area without drowning. Go. Oh, what? Maybe it's deeper on this side because I was doing fine, it felt like. So we'll just move the car forward a little bit. Although the car has already been flooded with water, so I gotta reset it. Probably not the greatest uh, idea for a car on second thought, seeing those water puddles destroy it, but that's okay. It's alright, it's just a little bit of water, you know? You can always get a new car. And there we go, that's a lap of that area. And there's dirt roads, though, that connect everything. They're not quite as crazy as this one. Oh, that wasn't a lap, I'm sorry. Where was it? Wait a minute. Yes, it was. No, was it? Yes, it was. Maybe it was. Or is that the lap area? I don't know. There is the lap area. Sorry about that. But anyways, there's dirt roads that connect all these areas. And this is just one of the ones that is its own thing. It's like a rally area. Let's go fast. Go fast, go fast. Yeah. How you doing, car? You gonna up? You gonna flip on me like that? Why you do me like that? Come on, car. You could have standed. Or not standed, landed. That's what you get. That's what you get. Shouldn't have disappointed me. Can't believe that I actually broke it, though. I figured I would just have a damaged car, not a broken one. But it wasn't moving, so it was broken. You got a canal looking area, like here. It looks like a. That oh we're upside down. That was just wow. But anyways, kinda works as like a racetrack in a way. Very interesting racetrack because of the way the walls are. You could just hold the accelerator full tilt basically, at least with this car, and just bounce off the walls smoothly. So it's kind of a neat idea for a racetrack, I think. See, we did scrape our bumper a little bit, but that's all right. It's just a tiny scrape. But yeah, it's a cool little thing. I think there's a steeper churn right here. We can pop out of it. Whoop! There we are. That bumper's coming more and more off, though. And bumper is gone. And car is pulling to the right, unfortunately, now. Anyways, we got some holes we could throw it down. How dare you be broken? This is... Oh, goodness. You're fine. You still got three wheels. Get up there. It's not going to make it. Wait, come on. Get in this hole. We can slumber that. No, we can't. Oh, well. I missed the slumber. Doesn't matter. There's a hole that you could toss the car into. Oops, let's actually reset back to over there-ish. Where we were, because I uh, don't need to drive back. There we are. 
So you also have some loop de loops that'll throw you into the ground right there, just splat. We're not gonna bother with that. Because we're too close, we wouldn't be able to get enough speed. Got another half pipe. It's like a double half pipe, I guess. But yeah, we got one there. We already did a half pipe earlier, so I won't bother. And we got this area, which is uh, just like the other road we were driving in, where it's like a, it's like a canal shaped thing. But again, it's not too much different, so we're going to pass it, or ignore it, or skip over it, whatever you want to call that. We're going to go over here instead. Into the mud. So you got a mud area you can drive through. Use it like as a rally. I'm not a rally, a derby pit. Makes sense to me to do that. But since uh, it's a pain to add extra AI cars and they don't work too well, they lag and all kinds of terrible things like that. We're not going to try it too extremely. And um, there are a couple of other areas too, which are like over here where it's um, let's go ahead and switch cars once again, actually, because this one's not going to cut it anymore. We're going to go back to the eight series gravel, and I know I call them gravel. It's because I call them gravel. I don't care what it says. It says gravel or gravel. It's gravel. I say gravel, and you can't stop me from saying gravel. So anyways, we're going to use the off-road edition of the truck, the gravel. I always get H-Series and the other one mixed up, but it's not the H-Series, it's the D-Series, right? Yeah. D-Series. To go through this area. And we're going to try to use automatic, but it might make it where it's a little too difficult, in which case we'll switch. We'll see. But anyways, there's an off-roading area. You do it like as a maybe like a time trial thing. Since there's a start area back there, you could just time yourself. For me, ten minutes. For you, five minutes. Something like that, you know. <laughs> anyways, moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up. There's a long road though. You see it kind of goes around the mountain and it just keeps going up and up and up. So, we might as well do the whole thing. Why not? It's not too difficult so far, at least yet, even with automatic transmission. But now it gets hard, so... Right, here we go. And also there's another one of these areas right over there. A little more mud oriented though. You see it right down there in the hole. Hopefully. I'm looking at it instead of looking where I'm going, which is not a good plan whatsoever. That's just gonna end in misery. Cause I'm gonna fall right off the edge and then I'll cry. Come on, auto transmission, you can do it. Oh, Oh, it's still working at it. Come on, automatic. Come on. It did it. That's the part I was worried about for the automatic right there. But it did it. Alright, don't fall off. Be very careful. Oh! Who fell off? Not me. It couldn't be. Oh good, I fell off still. I gotta find a better spot to splop the car down. Because if I splop it there, it just falls right off. There we go. I didn't fall off, what are you talking about? You're crazy. Power through the mud. Come on. There we go. Almost to the top. And there we are. I like it up here because you get a good view of the map and it's kind of like a nice place to end. Gee. I think you also got the name of the person who made it. Maybe. Oh, no, it's something else. There's a different area that has that. Yeah. What? Oh. I'm looking at it upside down. It says you win. 
Yeah, that makes more sense than a lot more sense than I knew I knew Ayuj or something like that. Ayuk, I don't know. You win makes a hell of a lot more sense, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, you get a good view of the map though. I covered most of it. This um you know a couple of things here and there that I didn't cover, but it's okay. Uh those ones you can explore yourself. Because I'll have the download link in the description of the video. So until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.